need the height or rather the radius. Okay, so you are also given the diameter or the radius over here, I don't remember. Okay, uh, but then I think you're given the diameter. Okay, then after that you're supposed to divide by 2 to find out what's the radius. Then you take the height minus away the radius. Okay, you're supposed to take the height minus away the radius in order to find the correct height for the cylinder. So there are a few of you who actually did not look at the uh, diagram carefully. Okay, such that it caused you to uh, lose the part B's mark. Okay, then losing the part B's mark, you lost, uh, you lost the marks in part C as well. Okay, for some of it. So in general, what I saw is that in part C, most of you could think rationally, okay, logically presented as well. Okay, but there are just a few of you who did not present it uh, in a very logical manner or you lack certain presentation skills. Uh. Okay, you just did your division, right? I'm surprised also that for a physics class like you all, okay, you are unaware what is the difference between weight and mass and not, know, not realizing that we're trying to find out what's the pressure. Okay, so these are terms that you are you you already know, right? You learn it in set three. Okay, because Newton per meter square, or rather in this case kilo kilonewton per meter square, that is the pressure on the ground. Okay, so a few of you, uh, when it comes to pressure on the ground, you do not know what will be the force that acts on the ground. You only consider the weight of the oil. Okay, it is the weight of the oil and the tank that is acted on the ground. Okay, so you fail to take into account the weight of the tank itself, which caused you to have some wrong calculations as well. Okay, so there are a few of you who actually had that problem. Okay, uh, the exact marking scheme, I'm sorry I didn't bring it up, I will upload it onto the website, okay, for you to see. And then I'll get those of you who got 9 marks out of 10, okay, you lost one mark uh, for most of it, lah, okay, for most of those students. Uh, you lost one mark because of the final, uh, final statement, okay. I marked according to the specimen paper's uh, marking scheme. Right, so uh, except for when deducting the accuracy and presentation. Accuracy and uh, presentation are deducted as per school requirements. Uh. Okay, then um, as for the marking scheme, they expected you to write down, okay, not just the fact that it is uh, required of you to have a special foundation because the pressure that you calculated is greater than the 15 kilonewton per meter square, but also you needed to point out that this is only a model Okay, so therefore it is an understatement. And not understatement, it is underestimation. <coughs> okay, so usually whenever we have a certain model, okay, for certain things, okay, it is usually an underestimation, right? Or uh, or yeah, in this case it would be an underestimation. Uh. Okay, so they expected you to write down Okay, that it is an underestimation because you can see that in the model given to you, it is a very nice cylinder and a hemisphere. Okay, whereas the actual tank itself, I think the top part looks nothing like a hemisphere, All right, it looks more uh, cropped away of the hemisphere of a sphere. Okay, so uh, you need to actually address this, all right, in order to get the full ten marks uh, for the entire question, which only two people managed to get that. Okay, thank you. Any questions? All right. Uh, if you have any questions, okay, you could uh, come and see me separately after lesson. All right. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't bring up my uh, answers. Okay, that's all I remember that I needed to tell you. Okay. Then uh, Shannon help me update. Okay. Next, uh, exercise sixteen point one homework. Could you please take that out? Then the PRWC for the third one, please submit it by end of by today, by Friday. Okay. Make sure that you read that the two pages.
that would mean that I will have to differentiate the second curve, right? So dy over dx, 3x squared plus 2ax plus 1. And then when x equals to 1, your dy over dx will be equal to 0. Equals to negative two. So is it three x squared? Yeah. Oh, doesn't matter, right? Okay. So a is equals to negative two. So therefore, b will be equals to. Let me change this. So b equals to one minus negative two. That is three. Alright. So a is negative two and b is equals to three. Okay. Here we go. What was the issue? I didn't know how to understand the question. Okay. So, common turning point. Okay, plot of this. Because I I used to to find the dy over dx. Then I. Oh, okay, okay. I was supposed to. Hmm. Okay. Next question fourteen. Yes. 